competition is giving those passionate about an issue the chance to have their say and get their first break in the industry. As a journalist, well, the London Voices Citizen Journalism Award aims to nurture ta new talent and give an insight into the industry. Well, Amanda Pavon Lopez is from London Voices and Louisa Nax won last year's prize and both join me now. Thanks very much for being here. Now, I'll come to you first, Amanda. This is a relatively new competition. When did it, uh, what was the starting point and what was the goal? Well, um, last year it started off as quite a small idea uh, in response to all of the discussions that were going on about whether the news that we saw, particularly online, was the real news and it reflected what was going on in the world today. Um, but since then it's grown a lot and we've had people talking to us about wanting to become journalists, they want to have a, a know how to have a voice, um, particularly for their local communities. A lot of those stories never actually reach the, uh, the, the news. So the point of the competition now really is to help people get that voice to talk about the stories that are in their local communities, but also get local reactions to national and international um, stories as well. And who were you hoping would apply for this? Who is it open to? It's open to everybody over the age of 14 who lives, works or studies in London. So uh, we do have journalism students uh, like Louisa who um, apply for the competition, but we also have people with no ex previous experience at all or no interest in becoming a journalist, but maybe want to tell, tell their story about an issue that's important to them. Now, Louisa, you were studying at the time, but talk me through your route into this competition. What made you want to apply and how did you go about it? Well, I was studying for my bachelor's at the time and I wanted a break into journalism. It's something I've wanted to do for years and years. And it was just sort of a way to give it a go, I guess, to see how good I could get, how far I could get into the competition and whether I really had the talent to kind of progress. And your entry was a written one. Yeah. Tell me about what you decided to focus on, because it was an issue personal to you, but one I think that would resonate with other people. Yes, yeah, so one of the themes of the competition was community voices. So I decided to take voices from within my community. My family are from Eastern Europe. I have a lot of friends who are from the EU. So I was kind of listening to them talking about like Brexit one year on. So I decided to ask a group of people who I know are kind of passionate about the issue to see how they felt a year after the vote. And what's happened since winning? I mean, it must have been an amazing uh, feeling to, to win and become first, but what have you done since then? Since then, I've started my master's in broadcast journalism, so I'm sort of progressing. I've done a lot of freelance work as well, and just sort of really getting into the field. And would you say it's had an impact on perhaps the path you're taking, or even just getting some contacts in the industry? Yeah, it's been good. It's been helping me get contacts, it's helping me get my name out there as well, and it's sort of good for my confidence then. I can do these interesting stories and I do understand what journalism is about. And Amanda, you have decided to focus on citizen journalism in particular. There's some debate as to whether it does contribute to new voices and perspectives or contributes to fake news. Is there a way that it can be policed perhaps or even should it be? Oh, that's a little bit outside the remit of um, what we're doing. I think what, what we're trying to do at the moment is make sure that people know that they can have a voice. They don't have to just accept the news as it's reported to them, but they can actually become part of the news as well um, and become part of contributing to stories. So that's really what what's important to us at the moment. And if anyone listening to this thinks, okay, that's something for me and I'd like to apply, when do they have until and how do they go about it? What type of submissions are you looking for? Uh, we're looking for uh, anything really. So it could be uh, a news article, a magazine style article, it can be uh, audio, it can be video. And we had some people last year who submitted photojournalism articles um, as well. Um, the competition is open until the 21st of May and we're on Twitter, we're on Facebook and we, we've also got a competition website. If you search for uh, London Voices uh, Journalism Competition then you'll find us. Amanda Pavlon-Lothar, thank you very much. And Louisa, congratulations again.